Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I just ate a banana, so if there's food in my teeth, I do apologize, but I just arrived to this little studio space that I booked a photo shoot. I usually, like, at the beginning of every year, I will start usually in January and do some sort of photo shoot for, like, branding for both of my channels and, like, Instagram and stuff like that, so just to have nice current photos. I don't have any photos with, you know, this haircut. I do feel very, um, 90s, like, southern woman right now with this denim jacket and this hair, but I also have a to it so I'm a bit early I'm like 10 minutes early and um, I've never worked with this photographer before but I'll leave their Instagram down below um, it's like a quick 45 minute session but yeah that's how we're starting off the day we're starting off the week I um, am feeling much better I have way less anxiety I haven't had any problems sleeping so I feel good about that that feels really good to be like on the right track I uh, unfortunately have some bad news to report and that is that I think we have bad neighbors again. Ugh. It's been over a year and a half and we've honestly, like there have been times, it's known in our building, but the building next door has just some of the craziest stuff, like the cops get called on them all the time and people are moving in and out and screaming and fighting and like, it's just chaotic. But probably like two, three months ago, this family moved in and they leave their windows open all day long and their kids scream all day, every day. And not just like, ha ha ha, like, ee, you know, typical kid, it's like full on, like, it's kind of concerning. But anyways, they also have two dogs and they leave their dogs out on their balcony like all the time and this happened with like another family that lived there before but then they moved out and they leave these dogs outside at like one o'clock in the morning and they're outside barking and it's directly outside my bedroom window and so we like very politely left a note and we're just like hey could you please take notice of like the noise and you know the neighbors that live around you and um it's only gotten worse i can't get the sound of dogs barking out of my head like it's constant and i've been sleeping with earplugs and you know i'm trying not to complain but it's just something that we've been dealing with it's not the end of the world it'll definitely work itself out in time it always does but man it's just been really frustrating and it's like damn oh we were doing so well we got so lucky for the first year and a half so if this is all we have to deal with that's perfectly fine but anyways i have about six minutes to get inside so i'm going to touch up my makeup really quick take these photos Photos. Hopefully they turn out okay and we will catch up in a bit. Hey besties, we are done with the shoot. It was so fast and so easy and so amazing. The photographer was incredible. Oh my gosh, I felt so welcome. I felt so comfortable instantly, like just the warmest, kindest person ever. We were just chatting the entire time. It just was so much fun as well. Like I genuinely had a freaking blast and it was over in 45 minutes. So that's me done for the day. And I actually like, I don't know why I thought this was gonna take way more time. Um, so now I have like so much free time. I think I might go take a nice little walk because it's such a beautiful day outside. Like the actual audacity of this weather. I do feel kind of bad saying that because I know that there are snowstorms and things happening in pretty much every other state. It's like Oregon, Tennessee. My dad was FaceTiming me yesterday and his entire yard is covered in snow. And like it snows in Tennessee, but not that much. Like it was like a full blown snowstorm. So freaking cool. I mean, I personally love snow, but I'm not trying to rub it in, but it's like, beautiful weather so I think I might take a little little stroll outside and just enjoy this beautiful freaking weather and maybe like get a smoothie or something who knows all right it's actually the next day I took the rest of yesterday and just did a bunch of editing work but um I had such a good time like honestly such a good day and I already got back all of the photos can you believe that it was literally so fast I think she sent them last night if I'm not mistaken so speedy can't believe it so okay I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of some of them no one cares obviously I shouldn't say that I care actually let me re direct what I was just about to say. Honestly, it was just so much fun and it was something that I'm doing, you know, for myself and for my business and so I shouldn't downplay it. It was really fun. Anyways, okay, look at these. Let me just show you this. Like, I am sorry. This was the like thumbnail photo that she chose. Are you kidding? This is so much fun. So here's all of 
the photos. There's so many of them. Like, it was so much fun. So I did four different looks. There's the second one, or I guess this was like the first one. This was kind of like a denim moment. Then we did the red, which I think just like pops so much. I'm so in love with it. This sweater also looks like the one I'm wearing right now. Then we did a little millennial pink moment, which was honestly so much fun. And she suggested going with like a lighter pink that matched the pink shirt that I was wearing. Oh, this is, yeah, that's me in my essence, in my purest form, but like, they're so cute and then we did a couple um this was the third look we did like we played around with some prisms which was really fun and then we did do a couple like proper headshots in case i ever need to submit them for anything so like you know it's giving i'm gonna sell you a house but that was fun so i sent back like the things the, the ones that i wanted edited so i just thought i would share but yeah um also something funny that happened yesterday because you know how i talked about like our neighbors and stuff and this isn't those same neighbors but it is like the same next door neighbors building if that makes sense um there is a group of like i would assume they have to be at least 18 but they literally look like 16 year old boys there's probably like five of them that live in this apartment i don't understand it but they all drive like very 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 nice cars like they all drive like bmws mercedes they must be like tiktokers or influencers or something like that but one of them in particular drives his car down the street in our neighborhood when he pulls out of the building he revs his engine so loud in case you just want a little bit of the neighborhood tea in case you're nosy like me and drew and just like want to know what's going on at all times drew is the neighborhood creep he will be looking out the window and reporting back with what's happening and i love it but um anyways he always pulls out in this car that has some sort of like exhaust on it or something like that and he revs his engine so loudly that it almost feels, I mean, it's like, it, I've started laughing a few times because it's just so obnoxious. And there have been multiple, I mean, if not every time when he does this, he sets off all of the car alarms of the cars that are parked on the street. And it's just like such asshole behavior, you know, just like I, I, I guess I want to say typical teenagers, but I, I wasn't like that as a teenager. Anyways, he does it all the time and it's just kind of like, whatever, you get used to it. It's over in like 15 seconds anyway, but you hear him going like all the way down the block, just like, Rah! like revving that thing so loud. Sometimes I think it like causes his engine to backfire and it sounds like gunshots. Anyways, it's a whole thing. So yesterday he was doing it and I wasn't even paying any attention. And he started like, you know, revving it up. You can always hear it right when he turns his car on all the way until he's like a mile away. And he was pulling out and he did that. He pulled out onto the street and like took off. And then all of a sudden we heard boop boop. And the police officer was right there and literally pulled him over like instantaneously. Just boop, pulled him right over. And so Drew literally like oh my god i think that kid just got pulled over and i was like shut up so we like ran over to the window couldn't really see so we literally went outside we went outside <laughs> i don't even think i was wearing shoes i just wanted to like peek and see and sure enough blue lights were on he was pulled over i was just like oh my god that is the most satisfying instant karma i have ever seen in my entire life it just made me so happy i'm sorry man it was just like so satisfying and you can't take that away from me. I thought it was hilarious in case you wanted a little bit more neighbor tea. And also, yeah, like with what I was talking about yesterday at the beginning of this vlog, like it's not a huge deal. I don't want it to become like another big thing, another big series. It really is like nowhere near as bad as it was before. It's just the situation in case you missed it because I didn't really explain that very well. <laughs> a lot of you were here, but a lot of you weren't. So in 2019 and 2020, or actually I guess it was 2020 when these people moved in we had just moved into the wrong building and we were surrounded by like 18 to 20 year olds who were just like partying through the pandemic through the peak of the pandemic where you're supposed to be staying home and isolating and all that kind of stuff and they like dj'd and they had parties all the time until like five six in the morning um layla was having surgery on her leg at that time so like we couldn't go anywhere i mean we couldn't go anywhere anyways it was just so massively stressful and they were playing their instruments outside like they were like jam banding and like there was one apartment in particular and we got into like this standoff and they came and knocked on my door at one in the morning and were confronting me anyways it was like a whole thing so drew and i truly like when we moved back to arizona and we moved into that house for two years 
years. Like we just wanted no drama. We wanted to just mind our own business and we still very much want to do that. Works so cool with everyone in our building. Like dream neighbor situation. It's just the building next door. I mean, you can't, you can't control it. But I, like I said, it's not a big deal. It's just something funny to laugh about because this is the choice that you make when you live in a big city. You're just, you're gonna be living on top of each other and that's just how it works, so. I have thought about maybe going over there and asking the people with the dogs if they like want the dogs to like hang out here during the day. Like, do you want my, do you want some help with the dogs? You want them to come hang out over here? Cause like, they're really cute dogs. I just talked for a very long time, didn't I? I actually have some more computer work to get done. I have to kind of like script out a couple of videos or just outline a couple of main channel videos that I need to do because I am going to be doing a little kind of like test run with another editor for this year. So I need to just make sure that like the things that I'm filming are actually coherent and I'm not just relying on myself to like edit it together, you know? I have some work to do, so we will check in in a bit, but I just thought I would give you a lovely little satisfying neighbors update. Love to see it. God, good morning. Here's your reminder to make your bed. day yet again and I am actually getting ready to film my second main channel video of the day. I've been really trying to like get ahead. I feel like I'm always saying that but I'm gonna switch up the hair in the outfit. I was actually just wearing this like while I was eating lunch because I was cold but I did this cute little like headband moment but now it is time to switch it up and I'm gonna show you. I thought that it might be nice because I kind of changed up how I do my slicked back ponytail slash bun routine and I thought it might be interesting to show you because I feel like everyone does it differently and this is just what's been working for me. So, okay. The two products that I usually use, one or the other, to slick my hair back with is either the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream, which this smells incredible, but this Eco Style Professional Styling Gel with Olive Oil is like, I feel like it works better because it's more of a gel, even though it's not a crunchy gel. This one is pretty much gone anyway, so I don't even know if there's enough of this to use. And then sometimes I use this TG Bedhead Hair Stick for Cool People, and it is essentially like a glue stick for your hair. So anyway, those are the products. Oh, and a brush. I just bought this brush because my friend Beth, or Bethany Francesca on Instagram mentioned this, and it's a GHD, I don't know what it's called. I think it was like 30 bucks, so it's definitely expensive, but I slick my hair back all the time, so it's worth it for me. Okay, so we're just gonna like brush out our hair, make sure that it's, you know, not too tangly. And then what I've been doing recently is wetting my hair a little bit first. And I feel like that just helps a lot more. I don't wet everything. I just wet kind of like the front and then like the crown, just to make sure there's like, I don't know, just helps with the slick. You obviously don't have to do this, but that's what I do. So just do a little bit of that and then I take like a considerable amount of product. Wait, is my part okay? You're sitting on the shelf that the mirror is behind, so hold on. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I take like a considerable amount of product, like that is a lot, probably more than I need, but I just like to be thorough. So I just like slap it on, I make sure I really get it on the sides. And then I like get underneath right here. This is cute. <laughs> I just try to rub it in as much as possible, like get it all in the roots because that's where you're gonna need the hold. Obviously I'm only speaking for myself with like my particular hair texture. This is what I do that works for me. So far, so good. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that off. And then we're gonna go in with the regular brush first. Can you see me? I don't know. So I'm just using like whatever regular brush you have, just kind of like brushing it in whatever sort of like 
position you want. So I think I just want like a nice low ponytail. I don't think I want a bun. So we'll start gathering. This is gonna be very hard to do because you are actually my mirror in the viewfinder right now and my eyesight is terrible. So some people do more of like a this type of slick back. Some people do more of like a pulling your hair back type of thing. I go back and forth between the two. You're just gonna take as much as you can, brush as much out, as many of the bumps as possible. Okay, there we go. Then when you feel like you've got it in like an okay place, you can go in with your bristle brush. And I feel like this helps a lot. So you definitely wanna get one that's for this specific type of thing, like a fine brushes like that with the good bristles will really help a lot. So I don't actually pull that that tight for these and I just use a scrunchie, so nothing super damaging but I just brush forever until my arms feel like they're gonna fall off basically okay and then when you've got a place where you want it you just secure it I think I'm just gonna do a ponytail and there you have it you have your nice slicked moment however just to like make sure nothing budges. A lot of times I will go in, actually right now it looks okay, but sometimes I'll go in with this stick and you literally just like rub it on your hair. But I'm not gonna add wax to my hair if I don't need to, but this really helps, especially with like flyaways and stuff. Very, very nice. So maybe I'll finish, finish it with some hairspray. Boom, and there we have it. Very quick and easy. This entire clip was six minutes and 39 seconds long. However, I talked a lot. So if you weren't talking and going through each of the products and things like that, it takes like three minutes. It's very nice. I'm gonna do a quick makeup touch up and then film the second video of the day. This one has a sponsor, so it's always just like more complicated. And I am starting to work with an editor for my main channel just once a week and um, like filming when you know someone else is gonna be watching your footage is the most bizarre thing ever and like you just act so awkward. So please freaking pray for me in this process. Like genuinely, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing my best. Okay, let's get this over with and then we will catch up in a bit because we gotta talk about shows. We gotta talk about it. All right, we're done. We did it. We got the video done. I filmed two main channel videos today. I'm very proud of myself for that. And it is absolutely chill time now. It is lay horizontal on the couch and do not a damn thing. And I could not be happier about it. We have been watching Love Island All Stars. We started it last night. We gotta sit down and chat about this because you know, I am a Love Island girly. I think Drew and I started watching it in maybe 2022? or maybe it was 2021, but either way, we got into it and we got so addicted. There are like, I think this is like the 11th, 12th season, my God. If you didn't know Love Island All-Stars was happening right now, it is, and it's so iconic. We only watched the first episode and it was the, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but it was the most iconic episode, maybe yet. Like I was just like, oh wow, they're really, they're really doing it. They're really doing the most this year. And like, I couldn't be more excited about it. I'm literally so excited. We have, I think now three more episodes to catch up on. Cause we like wanted to wait a little bit so we could have a few to watch at once. And I mean, oh my God, I can't wait. Yeah, Love Island is a dating show in the UK and they have a US version, they have Australia. And then I think this summer they did a version where like all of those people met up and stuff and like, mm, not that into it. But this one is all of the UK all star. So it's people from all 11 seasons before or 10 seasons before this and they all go into a house together and like new people are coming in all the time and like oh my god it's so iconic i literally can't believe it drew and i have only seen seasons four onward so i didn't i don't think we saw the first three seasons yet um you don't really i mean there's a couple people i don't know of yet i mean unless it's going to be heavily like seasons one through three people there probably won't be because those seasons are a bit older but there are people from like season one definitely we'll see what ends up happening but oh my god i love it so much i can't even begin to describe <laughs> and we have like quite a few itv shows that we've been wanting to watch as well 
Um, have we watched any? Ooh, we did watch for like a US friendly version because for Love Island in the UK, you can watch it I think on Hulu here, but it comes out on a delay. So it's like a week late or something like that. So Drew and I have a VPN. A VPN is what makes you be able to watch the shows in the UK because they're very strict about that. They like don't want other people watching it. I'm like, don't you want more viewers? I don't understand. But um, we did watch a show recently on Netflix called Fool Me Once, which is another Harlan Coben book that was turned into a show and he did he's an American author but he mainly writes these books that turn into shows that are entirely cast by British people so he did safe he did the five he did the stranger there's a few other ones that we've seen as well some of them were like in, in other languages and stuff but those are the three main ones that we had seen and there were a couple others that I already forgot the name of that we saw too but this one was really good it was just you're like what like there are twists and turns and stuff and it just felt silly at some points but it definitely is worth watching so yeah it's called fool me once definitely recommend that on netflix there's an itv show that i wanted to watch that's from the same creators as happy valley which is like one of our favorite shows of all time if you can find a way to watch happy valley it used to be on i think netflix but now it might be on amazon prime but i think you might have to buy it i can't remember it is one of the best shows of all time there's a show that came out apparently on ITV recently from the same creators or producers as Happy Valley. So I'm like, well, obviously we need to watch that. So that'll probably be something that we watch this weekend. I think there's only one season so far. And then I also saw people talking about, I think it's called Mr. Bates versus the post office or something like that. And it's like a series covering a true story of Welsh post office workers who were like, I think falsely like accused of things or falsely imprisoned or something am i mistaken let me look this up i'm a little desk here now so i can fact check as i'm chatting the extraordinary story of the greatest miscarriage of justice in british legal history where hundreds of innocent sub postmasters and postmistresses were wrongly accused of theft fraud and false accounting due to a defective it system yes please that sounds so interesting so anyway there are, no one asked for that but there you go <laughs> there's some of my favorite recommendations if you know one thing about me it is that i am passionate about my british shows especially like if it has anything to do with crime like i just love it so much drew and i have already been talking about going back to england because we just miss it. We, they won't let us live there. So we're just gonna visit. We thought about maybe going back for our anniversary, but it's like we were just there in October. So like going back in March feels like a lot, but also would love to go back. And you know, Alexa and I wanna go back together too. So I've gotta start thinking about that. But man, watching the shows at least makes me feel like I have a part of that with me <laughs> when I watch like Love Island or when I watch any of my crime shows or whatever. It's just, it's very cozy. It's comforting. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So anyway, we're gonna get into our comfies, watch our Love Island, and that's probably gonna be it for this vlog. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you watching this vlog. Like I always wanna apologize sometimes because I'm like, what even was this? Was this even entertaining at all? But y'all keep coming back and I love you for it. So thank you so much. If there are things in particular that you love seeing in vlogs specifically of mine, definitely leave them in comments below just so I can make sure that like we're on the same page, you know? Because sometimes I have no plan. I have no concept. I'm just kind of filming my life. And I know that a lot of you like that, but sometimes there's not really a point. So I'm like, should I even put this out there? But you know, that's just the constant struggle of being a YouTuber, I suppose. But yeah, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog.